all right what's going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so i hope you guys enjoyed the patch note reading that we did i talked about like the uh highlights of the patch notes of, as of today and today we have an event going on well we actually have a lot of events but one of them is completing a boss with a sun aura which i wish we knew about this in advance i did my bosses already but luckily i did one with a sun so we're just gonna have to do a repeat of a five and um if you are an na in the eu make sure to get this excavation note it's an event um you basically talk to the npc over here somewhere i think one of these people and then you unlock the warehouse and then it just gives you boxes so that i think make sure to do that like right now also they actually added costumes or like outfits for your horse and so they have one for each one so the regular of the tier 9 and then the tier 10 version and you know i have the uh, mythical art or not which is the pegasus right i actually like this one a lot more this is the regular right so the tier 9 pegasus i actually like this one more than the tier 10 one so here's the default red one i think that one's pretty cool but it's all right and uh so yeah if you get the tier 10 pegasus this is the default what it looks like and then if you get the item to transform it into the ice one it looks like this so i think this one's actually pretty cool i personally like the sky one um a little bit more but yeah i think this one's pretty cool and here's the tier 10 one i actually might get this because it looks pretty neat so anyway, um, what we're going to be doing is going down to the Magnus and doing our sun boss for the week, unfortunately. Uh, let, me, let me make sure. Do I have... Oh, God, my auras on the red one. <clears throat> you know... If any of you guys have ever seen this, it's basically if you do Calamity 7 of a boss, uh, you get a three hour buff of like if you get the moon one, you get one um, DP. If you do a sun one, you get one AP. That's sheet AP as well, which is pretty sweet. And then the green one is uh, drop rate 20%, which I think is awesome. But anyway, let's go do our sun boss again. I would love to try seven, but. I already did that. They really need to up the amount of bosses you can do. So here's how I would change it. Um, change number one. I would have out of 10 weekly. So there's 10 bosses. You should be able to do all of them uh, per week if you wanted to. And if you don't, you don't. It doesn't really matter. It's not like the rewards are that good anyway. Or number two. Um, you should be able to run whatever boss you want. Um, so you only get reward for five of them. But if you want to keep running like sevens and whatever of uh, different ones, you should be able to do that. Why not? It doesn't hurt. You don't get rewards. You're just doing it. Or number three, you know, just have like a for fun thing where you could just do them. <laughs> I don't see why not. Like the restriction of five per week seems so weird to me. You would think you want people to play longer and do it so like out of 10 bosses weekly at 10 that would be what i would do to change it but that's just me all right um let's see which is the easiest also the whole well thing i've stated what i would do to change this every single time and i don't think they care sadly i wish okay so here's what i would change about the well if you go there so before you go down like in front of the well there would be like a wooden fence or something or a sign that'd be like okay so where do you want to go and then you pick out your destination uh, of course it would still cost you the same amount as it would normally based on destiny or distance but it's less like you skip two load screens by just picking it there instead of later on. I think that's what I would do. The 
Does nighttime actually affect the uh, bosses? I'm not actually sure about that one, to be honest. So it's like, for all the people who are clearing sevens and stuff, do you notice the difference between doing it during the daytime and nighttime? Also, for the record, Pegasus, definitely the best tier 10. I know, like, the Dark Knight and the Doom Horse kind of go together, but effectively, man, Pegasus is just so good. I've told this story in the past before of back when there were only tier 9 horses, right? There's only two of them. The Doom Horse didn't come out yet. I was like, okay, so I actually wanted the Unicorn first because back then I think I was like 250 AP or 240. This was <clears throat> probably about like four years ago. And so I was grinding Aukman and Histria because those were considered the meta spots for four years ago time. And so the unicorn was just more useful to me because reasons. And so when I got my first tier 10, I got a Pegasus and it's not that I was unhappy with it. I just kind of wish like I got the unicorn because I thought I failed the 50 50 and then it is what it is. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't think this really matters too much. I'm just going to do one boss, so. Okay, let's do it. I actually kind of don't like this boss. It just feels like a do you know your iframe check? Mostly, if you do this boss, it's just whenever it does, like, swings the sword, I frame three times, and you're good. Ow, that kind of hurt. Am I wearing gear? I hope I'm wearing gear. <laughs> Probably would have been a little bit easier if I, uh... If I had some recovery. I like bosses with more mechanics, even though... I think Amugi is very hard for Dark Knights in particular. I think it's a really good fight because it's just like mechanically, even though the arena is small, but I think it's a really good fight. I also like Gumiho because that one has the most mechanics as well. I think this one, unironically, is probably one of the worst ones. Songashi is it like a good balance of mechanics check and iframe check. Or dodged it. So basically, <clears throat> this fight, in a nutshell, is you see there's like a aura or a ring around him, right? You you want to just make sure that you don't go out of the ring. I think if you get out of it like three times, 
He just like does a enrage and one shot mechanic view. Out of the fire. I think the black uh, <clears throat> dust is like bad, so I think we just get out of that. I'm gonna need you to calm down. I would like to not have to do this again. Oh my god, what is that four minute timer? I had like no buffs on. <laughs> That's so bad. Did I have gear? Like, what is I even using to write artifacts? Oh, I, was, I wasn't using my boss one. Okay, that makes a little bit of sense. Aside from that, Regular boss uh, food and bells. Cool. All right, guys, we came all the way out here to land in the morning light just to do one boss to get a reward. <laughs> Pray for me, boys. Can we get anything good? Strike crystal? All right, well. That was an experience. <laughs> what a dumb thing. <laughs> um, hold on, let me just check. While I'm still here in the morning light. Um four eighty-eight. Okay, so here's what I like to do with these coins after you get everything what i like to do is go to this npc and the reason why you do this is if you do any sort of life skilling uh the item you want to make is this thing the miraculous herbal medicine and the reason why is because it just like it's about a thousand energy so i guess 30 energy plus your normal recovery every three minutes. You know how that works, right? So then that's just a lot plus a boost of 500. So if your uh, energy cap is over 500, it's just really good. So you could buy it on the market. Market. Miraculous. This thing. So the fact that people are selling this for 90 mil... Even if you were to do some gathering, just like an hour of gathering, right? Just standard, no aggress, whatever. You buy this for 90 mil, get about a thousand energies worth. That's probably like 500 mil. And yeah, I get it that like grinding is worth more than life skilling. It is what it is. But if you're a life skiller, that is such a like, it's just free money. So. I'd recommend to all of you try to make them yourselves or um, if you can buy them, buy them. And the way you do that is this NPC over here. You get this thing, right? You get herbs. You need uh, 50 of them. And then you get the energy potion, everlasting herb, and mysterious powder. So I guess we could do that right here. I 
I think we can... I'll just show you. Okay, so. First off, let me deposit this stuff. Okay, so 50 of these, extra large energy. Uh, I have one of those in here. If you don't know how to get these, uh, the NPC in Velia, you just trade bigger energy for this one. Or you could buy it. Everlasting Herbs. I think I have that somewhere. Where would it be? Idle. Okay. And Mysterious Powder times 10. Mysterious Powder is... Okay, there it is. Four items, right? See, you make this. Yes, I know 90 mil is a lot, but trust me when I say this is like turning 100 mil into at least 500. You'll thank me one day. You're a life skiller. All right, so um, what else is there to do? Got these done. Oh yeah, make sure to do the event because you get a free premium outfit box. And um, basically there's three colors, red, blue, yellow. These like memory fragment looking things. You combine all of them and you get a, like a moon icon. You turn five of those moons into an NPC in Velia and you get it. Where does the Sea Palace actually take you now? Now that the event is over, I don't think it takes you to Velia anymore. So I'm just going to have to um, do that. So yeah, after today, they changed the Krons from 2 mil to 3 mil off the vendor. They also raised the price of costumes. So you remember how... They were like 840 mil. Now it's uh, 1.63. And they give 900 crons instead of 621. I think it's like 990 crons instead of 621. I think that's good. But the vendor cron change from 2 to 3 mil was not a good change. And we talked about that in a previous video. So yeah, if you want to watch that, that's my take on it. And wild. But... Overall, um, well, I guess while we're fast for horse riding, I didn't really look at the sales for this week. I'll tell you if anything is good or not. Um, so the new horse outfits for tier nines and tier tens. Uh, I actually think this one looks really nice. The regular tier nine unicorn one. I think that one is real nice. Uh, this one is also pretty cool as well. Why did the unicorns have like such cool outfits it kind of looks the same but just the fact that the unicorn has like the watery glowy effect it's cool so here's the tier nine it's i swear this one for the tier nine or this is yeah tier nine doom looks exactly the same as the tier 10 pegasus bruh and then here's the tier 10 doom i think this one looks cool actually but if i were to get one like, I I think this one is fine. It's, uh... It's not ugly. I, I wish we could get this one for the tier 10. Because I like this one. Um, let's see, what else? They lowered the price of memory, or not. Yeah, Artisan's Memories from 50 to 25 pearls each. So that's cool. Um... What else is new? Oh yeah, Artifacts in your... Ex Artifact expansion. I actually bought two of them. So, you know how you got 30 before? You could buy another 30, I believe. So, realistically, how many should you get? 
I think maybe between 40 to 45 total is good. So like maybe three bundles. So like 500 pearls times three. And this is like, you know what I would really want? More presets. Because that's more important to me than anything. I want more presets than slots. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I want slots and presets, but it is what it is. Um, so maybe in the future. Let's see. So basically, artisans now are like... It's still expensive. Um, anything else worthwhile here? Rare animal friends, doggo. I don't think so. Aside from that, um, I think the highlight would be probably the tier 10, um, horse out or horse costumes. Does it actually give more stats than the old ones? Hold on. Let me just quick check. 500 HP. 500 stamina, two turn, two acceleration, and then four, uh, one move. Let's actually look at that. HP, stamina, acceleration, turn, move speed. It's basically the same thing. Chance of acquiring a horse skill, 10%. Boys, I have a video of this. I have made to show you guys how to get every single skill on a tier 9 and tier 10 100%. So you don't have to buy $30 worth of costumes for it, and you can still get all the skills. I have a video of that. If you want to find it, it's on the channel. It's like something about tier 9, tier 10 horses, how to something. So... If you're interested check that out but just know you don't always have to pay max price for it and uh i've been playing this game for a while so with that said i think i am out for today thanks so much for watching boys um a lot of big changes today so got a lot of stuff to do and i think a little bit later we're gonna do some grinding and Test out new Dekia stuff, maybe. Or just check out the new Marnie Realm stuff in general. But with that said, that's all I wanted to talk about. I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Peace.